This is the M1 Garand M block clip latch disassembly and assembly. I'm not going to use any special tools, but I am going to use an M2 ball ammo. And I'm going to leave the guts inside the rifle over here, the op part of the operating mechanism. And I'm going to hold down on the spring that's behind here, behind the tab, and push through with the M2 ball as far as I can go. This should allow enough space where I can get my fingernail underneath the head of the pin here and slide it out to the front. I'm also keeping that pressure on again. Slowly release the pressure and the spring should come out behind the clip latch. The spring itself has two different sides. One is the same dimensions as the basic barrel of the spring but there's one end that's larger that's the end that goes in the clip latch and you push it into place and it should stay there a lot of people when they assemble and reassemble this is this is what holds the end block in and actually works on a mechanism for the operating uh, guts on the inside the op rod catch if you look really close moves around in the hole where the clip latch goes You'll be able to see it. If you put it in the wrong way and it's down, you can actually damage it and get the, the part of the clip latch up above. And you'll destroy the, the op rod catch, clip latch, and alignment all out. So be very careful when you're reassembling. When you reassemble, make sure it's in the up position. And what we're going to do is just, just do the reverse now. We're going to put it in so that the, the tip goes straight in and hold in on the spring pressure going from the front of the rifle to the rear making sure that the the part here obviously is the head and make sure it's seated all the way that's how you reassemble the m block clip latch for the m1 grand